Hi guys and girls, how's it going? Due to popular demand on LOL's Fishing Adventures YouTube channel, there's been a lot of people asking what the dog's bollocks are. It's actually a bung buzzer, um, which LOL's named the dog's bollocks because it pretty much is when it comes to catching fish. So I said I'd knock up a quick video of how I make them. Other people have their ways, this is my way. So starting off with a size 12, Grub hook from Elite Buzz, uh, from Elite Flies. I'll leave that in because you know people make mistakes. I'm allowed to make mistakes. So yeah, it's a size 12 grub hook from Elite Flies, and I'm using a 3.2 millimeter brass chartreuse bead, which I got from TW Striker. And um, great bead, love them. And the hooks are really strong and really sharp. I'm going to be using. You can't see it because I've got one of these type of bobbin holders but it's a UTC in black has a kind of blue sheen to it but it's black uh, in a 140 denier so what we'll do is we'll catch the thread on there and then cut off our waist piece and then just work our way down the hook Down halfway down the shank and come back up. And at this point, we're just building bulk. I used to have a really thick floss that I used to put on first to create a base to help this process speed up. But I've run out. So we'll come down, stop a little short, come back. I'm just building the tape out. Come back down. And we'll stop there and come back up. Down, short again. This bit is quite boring. Bear with me, we'll get there. And then once you've got a bit of a tape on, I'll just kind of go all the way back down and sort of just do it again basically, just to build it up even more. We'll get there eventually. It's nothing pretty at the minute. And just lash it on. I think I see when I had the other thread to build it up. It took seconds to get to this point. I'm gonna invest in some more thicker thread for these seeing as since lol been catching hundreds of fish on them, everybody wants them. So gotta keep the people happy. Right, we start getting a decent taper and a decent bit of thickness on it. What I do is I come down the bottom and then I drop my bobbin because I'm stupid. Spin the thread anti-clockwise to flatten it out a bit and try and pretty this up a little. It doesn't have to be too bad if I use the UV resin which helps make everything look pretty in my opinion. Which is why I imagine people use it. Spin the thread again. I just want to smooth it out a little bit. I don't want to have, have it too full of ridges. There we go. We're getting there now. All of a sudden it just starts to take shape and you're like, hey, here we go. Right. And I've forgotten my whip finisher tool. So I've got that. And we'll do a it's hard to do this with a camera in your face. One, two, three, two, three turn with finish. Cinch that up. And snip off the bottom. I always give it a little singe just in case there's any loose bits. That's all it takes, just a little flash. Maybe more than some people would flash, but that's what I flash. Right, so from this bit, I take I wish I had everything ready because I don't. I took a leaf out of Andy Pandy's uh, book. Who Andy Pandy's another? He's a fantastic fly tire on YouTube. I literally he sort of got me into doing all this again. And I took his advice and got some of these little micro brushes off YouTube. 
fantastic for putting on the resin. Then you're going to take a nice big blob of UV resin. Uh, literally a nice big blob and I'll just roll it around a little bit and then plop it on. And it's, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a big disaster but it usually works out. It'll probably be a disaster now I'm videoing it. Make sure you get, I always put a little bit on the bead just to seal that up. And then run my finger around it just to take off any excess. And you're pretty much, I mean that there is pretty much what we're looking for straight off the bat. As you can see it's a beautiful finish now with that it's got the um a beautiful finish now it's got the UV resin on. Just looking for my gun. Very unprepared here. And then we will go on laser pen, not a laser gun. So yeah. And just zap that, cure it, I love the way it lights up through the resin as you're doing it. But yeah, give it a good zap. And then that, ladies and gentlemen, is the dog's bollocks. Nothing to it, but an awesome pattern. Watch any of Lowe's videos and you'll see him catching on them. Not all of them, obviously. But that's it. What I do now is I leave that on the windowsill to cure in the sun for a bit to make it rock hard. And I give it one coat of Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails, which is this stuff because it's excellent and it dries hard as nails. And it just gives it an extra bit of protection. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm doing all this. I've got my own channel on YouTube. Tied for trout, which don't have many videos on at the minute. Um, I think there's only one on actually at the minute because I've just started it. And I've got the Tied for Trout um, Facebook page, which is at Tied for Trout. And you can find us on Instagram as well. So, yeah, get these tied up, ladies and gents, and uh, go and catch some trout. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.